In the second example, we are going to look at an invalid argument. So here goes the invalid argument. If Miami is the capital of Ontario, then Miami is in Canada. Miami is not the capital of Ontario, therefore Miami is not in Canada. So how can we check if this argument is a valid or invalid argument? Well, first of all, we, we need to uh, understand and distinguish what uh, atomic sentences are in this argument. And then second, we need to uh, build and write down the uh, truth table. All right. So Miami is the capital of Ontario. Let's call this uh, atomic sentence P. Then Miami is in Canada. So this is a new sentence. So this atomic sentence, let's call it Q. So the first argument is basically P implies Q. All right. Um, by the way, sometimes um, we use this notation, sometimes this notation, they're equivalent. All right. So don't get confused. Well, then the second part of the argument, Miami is not the capital of Ontario. All right. So this is negation of uh, atomic sentence P, right? It's not the case that Miami is the capital of Ontario. So therefore, the second argument is uh, not P. Therefore, <clears throat> so here is the conclusion, Miami is not in Canada. Well, again, this is not a new atomic sentence, it's the negation of Q, so not Q. That means, um, so this is not Q, this is uh, not P. So our argument is basically P implies Q, this is the first premise, the second premise is not P, and then the conclusion is not Q. All right, so how do we build or, or construct the truth table? Well, because there are two arguments, I'm going to write each, P here, Q here, and then there are two premises. So this is premise number one, P implies Q, and then premise number two is not, uh, not P, I'm sorry. And then finally, uh, the conclusion, uh, not Q. So this is conclusion, uh, these are premises, and these, these are the atomic sentences. All right, so we know that the P and Q values, uh, they're either true or false, but because there are two atomic sentences, there are four possible scenarios we need to consider. They both could be correct. P could be correct, correct but uh, true, I mean. Q could be uh, false. Uh, the other way around, uh, P is false, but the Q is true. And then finally, they both could be false. All right, so what is the truth value of uh, statement P implies Q? Well, if you remember, P implies Q is always true unless P is true and Q is false. So in this case, it is false and everywhere else it is true. So that's the first argument we talked about. All right, what about the truth value of not P? Well, the truth value of not P is the opposite of P. So if P is true, well, then not P is false, all right? And if P is false, well, then not P is true. So in order not to uh, cause any confusion, let me draw those lines so that we know uh, line by line what corresponds to what. All right, finally, the conclusion, the not Q, again, the truth value is the opposite of uh, Q. So whenever two is true, Q not Q is false. And whenever it is, where Q is false, not Q is true. All right, so let's remember the definition of uh, valid arguments. So an argument is a valid argument. Whenever, the, whenever all the premises are true, the conclusion must be true, all right? So therefore, I need to look at the cases where both premises are true. All right, so the first scenario where the first promise, uh, premise is true, the second premise is false. So I don't need to check the conclusion, all right? Because this does not satisfy both premises true uh, I claim. So here they both false. So this is not a case that I need to worry about. All right. This is one case that I need to worry about because both premises are true and here as well. All right. So these two cases are very important. All right. So in one of those cases, it says 
Whenever both premises are true, the conclusion is true as well. Very good. But is it always the case? No, not really, because there is some other scenario where both premises are true, but the conclusion is false. Hmm. So therefore, uh, this argument is not a valid argument because sometimes both premises or all the premises can be true, all right? But the conclusion is not necessarily true, all right? So it's sometimes true, sometimes false. If this is the case, well, then that means this argument is not a valid argument. Therefore, it is an invalid argument.